Hey folks, this is Nick Hawks with Gristle King, cleaning up some points of HIP-17 that I actually didn't understand before, and now I do, and I'm super psyched to share them with you, along with a pretty cool tool that you can use to count how many hotspots are in a hex. We'll start with HIP-17. So we'll cruise in on America's finest city, uh, San Diego, and then what we're looking for is explaining why when we turn on our Res-4s, we are seeing some of these uh, little res 8s, which is what most people kind of look at, even though it's not totally correct, to see if they're being scaled or not. Like, oh, my res 8 is being scaled or my hotspot's being scaled at XYZ. You would think because this res 4 here um, that covers most of San Diego is overcrowded. There are too many hotspots overall in the res 4. So every single hotspot that goes in this res 4 will get scaled. Um, you look at that and you say, okay, here's the line. It should be pretty clear that the hotspots on one side of the line are all unscaled because there's not that many hotspots in the uh, Res 4 in East County. And these hotspots should be scaled because they're clearly in the Res 4. But, and this was explained to me by Rad Rob over on Discord. So thanks, Rad Rob. Um, what actually happens is that any given hexagon, hex resolution, is considered not to be these straight clean lines that we see and this is confusing it's considered to be the area covered by its seven daughter hexes so in this case here's the big res four here's the lines for that here's the seven daughter hexes if we cruise in on this daughter hex here we'll see the first part of the explanation as to why these guys here are all getting a scale of one now this is overcrowded here so that one makes sense. So these are all getting a scale of one. Now you can probably guess from that, if you're thinking ahead, why these guys are getting a scale of one. And it's because, I'm gonna turn off the res four. So now we're left with our res fives. You know what a res five is made up of? Yep, seven res sixes. And so now we're seeing, okay, that is making a lot more sense is here's our res six line right here. Here are um, these hotspots that are a part of that res six which is inside the res five, which is inside the res four. So if we turn on the res four line, here's the line, but you can be up to, let's say, um, three kilometers off and still be covered within that, within that hex. So I know that's confusing, they're not my rules. Um, I would have loved to see it where it's super clean and easy to understand, but helium folks are, are pretty darn smart. I'm sure they have great, great reason for doing this. I'm sure it has something to do with math and geometry, but that's beyond my pay grade. So that helps you guys, or helps me understand um, and explain to you why you can see a res four that looks like it's overcrowded and undercrowded and still see that, hey, there's uh, hotspots scaled at one on, on one side, what appears to be the wrong side of the line. The second thing that we're going to do is check out this pretty cool tool over on Helium Place, where if you go to the little hamburger menu here, and typically it comes with the location red zone turned on, and sometimes it'll have a res seven or eight, turn everything off except the location hexes, and then close out of this. Anywhere you drop a pin, it will show you all of the hexes that are around that pin. So if we drop it in San Diego, um, it'll show us every hex from, I want to say, 10 up to 4, might be from 12 up to 4, uh, that that hotspot is in. So that's pretty cool. Here's our res 4 that's overcrowded. And it will also, over here, show you how many hotspots are in that resolution. So at res 4, we know that the max, the most you can have no matter what, is 800. So every single hotspot that goes into San Diego is going to get scaled because we've got 882 in our res 4. Um, we can probably look at the the res fives and see that I bet we're overcrowded there. You have density max over there is 400 and we've oh, 396. So we're super close. So that's a, I, I thought a pretty cool little tool. Um, we're going to jump back to helium vision for the last part of this, which is I had explained earlier about um, how the, the, the density um, scaling works. I'm looking for a, a clear spot. So whoops. I'm going to turn these guys off. So if we're looking at this series right here, um, we've got nothing in the middle. So if we dropped one in there, we'd be fine. And the way I'd explained it before is that if this guy had one, and in fact, I can just do it, is we'll move it over here, um, where now this uh, placement has two siblings, one sibling here and one sibling here that meet the density target. So before I had said this could have four in it um, because that's what, how I was reading the equation, but that's not actually how it works. So if you look over here, they explain that is that, and they count the hex that you're in. So three 
um, here is actually two sibling hexes. But once you've got two sibling hexes, you can have 200% of density. Once you have four sibling hexes or three hexes, you can have 300%. Once you have four, you can have 400%. And that's where it maxes out. So here, if you've got these as your two sibling hexes, you can only have two in yours. You can't have four, which is what I thought you could have before. If, uh, for example, you're over here, now this guy has got one, two, three, four, so it could have up to four hotspots in there. But even if it was in, let's say this one, where it's surrounded by hexes that all have one, at least one hotspot in each hex, the density max here is four, so it caps out at 400% every time. So once you get to um, N of five, which is four hexes, because it's counting your hex, it's 400, same with N of six, same with N of seven, that's what the, the density max is. So hopefully those uh, few things talking about how hexes are made up of other hexes and how you can use that cool little tool over on Helium Place and how the whole percentage thing works helps clear up your understanding of HIP-17 so you can help explain it to other people. All right, this is Nick Hawks at Gristle King. Ahoot!